Greenlight is a service and an application that you can get that allows you to give debit cards to your kids. I'm gonna show you guys the actual app here. Let's go through a few basics. Greenlight allows you to create debit cards for up to five of your children. In this case, you can see I have children right up here. There's also a parent wallet. That is where you put money to then later disperse to the children. So for example, I have $18.34 in my wallet right now. That money is not available to any of the children. Now let's suppose that I wanted to give a dollar to Everly. I could press Everly's name. I can send Everly money and I can choose an amount and I can say, hey, I'm gonna send her $1. Press this, move money, and that's it. A dollar added to spend anywhere. So now if I go back here, you'll see my parents' wallet has $17.34 in it. And Everly's wallet has a dollar more. Not that you saw that before, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Now you'll notice under Everly's name, we can, we can click here to enable and disable her card. And we have these uh, these categories of spending. So we have spending. That's just money that's available on your card to spend. We have saving because you know children love to save. And we have investing and allowances. If you're just looking for a debit card for your kids, you really are probably only going to worry about this spending section. When I press spending on Everly's, she has $7.32. That is money that she can spend anywhere. Hey, this is the Interrupting Dad. If you're enjoying this video, would you consider hitting the like button? And if you wanna see more in the future, maybe consider hitting subscribe. Anyway, I'll let you get back to the video. Now you can choose to take the money that she has and actually restrict it to be spent in, in different places. So you see the spending categories down here. You have any ATM, any gas station, any restaurant, and you can add specific stores as well. Let's try this, and this is something that I've never actually bothered to do. But let's suppose we decided to go for Walmart, right? Uh, Walmart. Yes. And let's say we say, okay, move some dollars in. Let's put five of her dollars into there. There we go. So now she has $7.32 in the spend anywhere category. And for specific stores, she has $5. So maybe you want to uh, allow your kid to go back to school shopping and that's gonna be at Walmart. And so maybe you give them this money because you wanna get it out of your bank account so you don't spend it and you put it into a specific store. You know, you might do the same thing for Staples or Target or something like that. Cool features. When you go to history, you can see where they spend their money. Now, the, the fact of the matter is that is that Everly's young and she always forgets her debit card. So a lot of the time, when she spends money, I end up returning the money from her account back to the parent's wallet um, because she doesn't have a debit card on her. And that's just, that's fine. That's fine at this age, right? Now there's other kids like Charlie. Uh, her card is actually off because she's lost it. It costs $3.50 to replace a card. And for me, I expect the kid to pay for their replacement. Um, some of my children have lost their debit card several times, which means they've paid over $20. Now. There are more advanced features, like we said, there's investing. And uh, you know, if you wanna teach your kid about investing, that's cool. I'm not really gonna explore this piece much, but I will tell you about the allowance. So you have an allowance, you can set this up and say, hey, let's give the kid $10 weekly on Sunday. That's actually when we give our allowances out and you can choose where it's gonna go and you can set the allowance up. Real straightforward, it can automatically take money out of your bank account to do that. Personally, I prefer to do that manually because my kids can earn different amounts. The assigning of the chores is also cool. This allows you to set up chores and, you know, with the chores, they can earn a certain amount of money. So uh, one time plus, add a one time chore. Okay, chore name, clean your room. I'm not gonna add a chore description. And we're gonna say do by Friday, because that's a good time, right? And we're gonna say you can get five cents, <laughs> no, five dollars for that. And it goes to spend anyway. Save, check that out. Now, if they have the app installed on their phone or tablet, then they can see this and they can check it once they're done. Hopefully you have an honest child because otherwise they'll just run through and check everything. And so that's pretty cool, right? That gives you some structure. You saw that you can also, you can set up weekly chores. So maybe, maybe a kid takes up trash and 
you know, whatever way you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> for me, I just track the chores that my kids do on a giant whiteboard because I have a lot of kids and I like this, but sometimes these user interfaces can be a little cumbersome. That's, you know, that's pretty much, pretty much the app. Definitely cool. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Or if you've tried that out, maybe leave a comment and just let me know what your experience has been. I think it's pretty cool that we, uh, we have this option now. All right, guys, have a good one.